Courtney Dominguez and Small Business Majority CEO John Ahrensmeyer. Thanks to you both for standing by through all the breaking news we've had this afternoon so far. Courtney, to you first. I want to ask you about this chart topping record breaking three and a quarter million Americans uh, who applied for unemployment benefits this week, um, setting a new record high. I believe the exact precise number is 3.28 million Americans. Just three weeks ago, we had a record low. It was less than, I think, 200,000 Americans applied for unemployment. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's really just going to go to show you the magnitude of how this is affecting the economy. And some of those people are getting more furloughed, where this is hopefully going to be a temporary relief of unemployment, whereas some are potentially more permanent. And so I think that's really what you've seen the stock market discounting over the last several weeks is knowing that some of this data is going to come out. And I think it should just really be a good reminder when it comes to the markets or it comes to any your money that's invested in the markets is they are forward looking and they have been pricing in a lot of this. So it's pretty interesting. It's even with those record unemployment numbers coming out, the markets were up 6% the day those numbers were released. And they were up almost 13% this week. And it just goes to show you that the markets are a discounting method and they actually tend to buy them like four to six months before a recession ends. 2008 was a great example where they bottomed in March of 2009, even though the recession didn't end until July. So this should just be a really good reminder of that. John, um, latest Fox News polling that we have, quite surprising, um, showed us that 43% of Americans who participated in this poll say that somebody in their household has either lost their job entirely or had their hours cut back over the last few weeks because of this virus. So if you read the tea leaves, for us there. What do you pull out of that? What's your takeaway? Well, unfortunately, the numbers are only going to get worse. It's total carnage out there. Uh, we've seen um, in small, millions of small businesses, their demand go from 100 miles an hour to zero overnight. This is unprecedented. It certainly didn't happen 12 years ago, and it didn't even happen in the Great Depression, where there was a, you know, a gradual slowdown. This is like the car has hit the wall and stopped. And the, um, the business is closing, the unemployment numbers are just going to get worse. What we need now are there's three S's, size, speed, and simplicity. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I'm not sure that the bill that Congress passed and the president signed um, really gets us there. Courtney, the government's floating this idea of taking a stake in some of these major industries that it's offering um, a bailout to. So sort of a tit for tat in exchange for bailing you out now, we're going to take a stake in like, for example, in the airline industry. Is this a good idea for you, or is it a slippery slope? What do you think? I think we really got to see the details of exactly what they're proposing, but I think it is an optimistic sign that they're really, really willing to just kind of throw the kitchen sink at any sort of tools that they have in order to prop up businesses, prop up individuals to get them through this time period, because they want to make sure that when all of this passes, we can get back to just as good a footing in the economy as we were beforehand. So any sort of tools they can use, I think just at least having those conversations is a positive sign. Well, we've got to leave it there, unfortunately. But thanks to both of you for standing by, for sharing your expertise with us. We really appreciate it. Courtney Dominguez and John Ahrensmeyer, we will have both of you back soon. Thanks.